I'll first die. Then when I resurrect, <laughs> I'll die again. <laughs> <laughs> because that would be like um, the worst nightmare that any child can, you know, can face. If you find out that your husband or your brother is sexually molesting your female child, how would you react? I will feel very, very bad. In fact, I will want to kill that person at that very moment. Oh, I will react angrily because I know that that child uh, he has destroyed our life. I don't pray. I don't pray for such. Amen. <laughs> Actually, I is a prayer anybody will not, will pray for his or herself not to see such. But in should in case it happened. Like your husband is actually <laughs> I, I don't really know what to do. Either one of us, you know. One of us <laughs> will die. <laughs> well, I will first feel bad. But I know that behind any physical event, it is powerfully spiritually supported. So, what I will do first is to go down on my knees, search what the Bible says about it. I know there is a demon behind it. I will pray and I know whenever I pray God will answer me so after I will speak with my husband I will not fight him I will react yes it's normal and I will let him know that I am not happy about it so after we sit down with discuss from his discussion I will get to know how it's usually how the emotion comes on him what he sees you know then after that I will take my female daughter away from that place and begin to work on it both spiritually and physically ah well it's a bit hard because to start with my brother cannot do that what can i say if he does that if he does that mm. uh, to start with i will be highly disappointed okay. and from that instance of course definitely he was in my house mm. it will leave, it will cease to live in my house then I'll take the, I will report him to my dad. But to me, it's a bizarre, bizarre um, uh, knowledge to know that my own blood brother is sexually molesting my child. It's uh, first and foremost, it's uh, what we call incest. It shouldn't happen at all. So once such happens, well, like a pastor, I will really ask him to go and pray, and uh, I begin to think for what ask God for what to do concerning this issue because to me it's, uh, it's something I want to I would like to research both spiritually and physically what could have led to such misconduct right under my roof so you would actually report to the authority I would report to the authority even if it's your brother if it's my brothers to let him know that such heart is a heinous crime and is very very is not good for our society I wouldn't take them to the police why but first I would rather refer him to uh, the family. The family must meet over it. I bring uh, it to the knowledge of uh, other members of the, of the larger family to look at such uh, um, serious misconduct right in the same family. Would you report him to the authorities before you leave the house? Of course. You report him to the authorities? I will report him so that such will never repeat itself again. I can't go to the police because, you know, going to the police means he's going to be jailed. And if he's jailed, who will take care of the children? Who will take care of your so child? So are you going to stay married to a man that is sexually molesting your child? I might be separated from him, but you know, reporting him to the police. You might. It's a, so very, you're not it's sure. a very difficult question now because you know, as Nigerians, we really don't believe in. We don't believe in cry and clean your eyes or cry and clean your tears. Okay. You know, we don't believe in um, uh, going to the court. You know, okay. seeking for your rights or standing up for your rights. But I know the, the, the most appropriate thing would have been to report him to the law. Okay. But then again, you know, you look at a coin not from two sides, but from three sides now. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. So you report your husband to the police station? Yes, of course. Yes. He has the, as in, if he can do that, that means he can kill me. You understand? So it's better for me to report. To kill him first. Kill him. Yeah. The police now. So he's going to be a free man. What if he starts molesting every other little girl he sees? Then the police can take uh, charge of him whenever 
he is caught. But you personally, you won't hand over your brother nah, no, no, to the police? No. It's a, it's a brotherly thing, it's a blood thing. If you say my friend, yes, my friend I can hand, after probably beating him, disciplining him myself, I will not hand him over to the police. But because my brother is my brother, there is no way, the, the discipline I've given him is leaving my house and it shouldn't be anywhere near my family. The best thing to do is to send him to the authorities. So you report him to the Of course I will do that. Because for somebody to do such a thing, I don't think he's, he's human. <laughs> I want to pack out of the house. It's not worth being a man. A man who is a man, no matter what, you can't say the devil pushed you. First of all, it's something that had to come to your heart. So because you allow it to come to your heart, that means you can do anything. Mm. I had to leave the house. Ma, you will be in the marriage. You will still be married. Yes, you? I will be in the marriage because till death do us part is what we sworn to each other. I will not break the marriage because of that. I know that is one of the reasons why I came into his life, to help his weakness. So you will not break, you will not break your, your marriage because of your child? I don't no. understand. Your child is supposed to be, you're supposed to protect your child. Yes, I will be there to protect my daughter how and sure, my husband. How are you sure it's not going to happen again? I sure am again? very, very sure. Very, very sure because I believe in God. I believe in what Bible says. That when I pray, he will answer me. So how would you handle your, your child that has been molested? Uh, well, I'll only sit and educate her more because it's all about uh, educating our female daughters when it comes to sexual molestation uh, if she is aware or she has been educated initially she would have seen the signal and withdraw mm. all right thank you very much you're sir. welcome there's nothing you will do to that child to bring back you know for the psychology to be changed mm. that has already been built into him you know you only pray to god to forgive him and then try to see how you can guide that child. In Nigeria, and the kind of society we live in, the first reaction is send him away or get him arrested or deal with him or flog him or met out some very corporal uh, punishment to him without really looking at the reason for that behavior. So it's a behavioral defect, and, um, it, but it, 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 a more civilized and matured person, after the initial outcry, will want that person to seek for help. In Nigeria, where we cover up everything and want everything to be family embedded and don't take the secret out of the house because it's family and family, 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 family. But seriously, to what extent will you go to protect your husband or your brother or whoever from your child? Because you're supposed to be protecting your child and not your brother and not your husband. If I had to be in that situation, like that woman said, one of us will have to die. And definitely it's not be me because I will kill him first. Yes. My name is Jela Adesh Rani. This is Basabog.com.